Hello everyone, welcome back to War Mongrels. We have been slowly working our way behind enemy lines and now we have a lot of explosions to do in order to clear a path through to where we need to be in Poland as well as to interrupt more of the Germans' forces. So if we come out of the pause menu here, these guys are all just neatly lined up in front of us. And if we just throw that there right now... Nobody else hears because there's shelling going on in the rest of the world. So, that's bloody convenient, isn't it? Evold would probably like a little... Oh, God, where's this guy coming? He's stopping short, that's fine. As I was saying, Evold would probably like some more machine gun ammo. You there. Right, let's get... Lucas off the roof. Help if I collected Lucas for the team rather than trying to get the dead sniper's corpse. What I would love to do is wherever that guy just stood. Right there. Lay that trap right there. Come back this way, quickly, swiftly. You don't see me, you don't see me. Everything is fine. So we need to work through this little mess of soldiers. Then we've got all the way over here. God, that is far away. A machine gun nest. And then somewhere else, there is a bunker that needs to be destroyed. But right now, we are over here. This guy is going to have an uncomfortable time right there. You'd love to see it. Lucas can go get his trap back. That guy's being a pain in the neck, but... We're going to get our trap back, and then I would love Rubble to come run through here. Because I think Rubble probably throw his knife in that guy without too much issue. We just step up to like there. Right, how about there? Why would you get so up close when you're throwing a knife? Alright, that's a wash. I was expecting to throw that thing from like 15 feet away. But no. Alright, in that case, let's get these two over to here where we know it's safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody cares about you, sir. That guy actually could be somewhat of a problem. He's dead. Affirmative. All right, we need to solve this problem quickly. How about, like, that? That guy falls just outside of the guy's vision range, which is wonderful. I'm wondering if we might snipe this guy up here just so that they stop being a pain in the neck. Um, where is Rubble? Rubble. Avold. He might be a better man for this. When this guy is facing the other direction, because we know they will in a moment, go mess that guy up. 
Good night. Go back. Lay down. Good. Now, where is Rubble? Rubble's there. I'm going to wait for that guy to turn around. High up on the roof. Good. Drop the corpse. We're going to need our knife back, but I don't know if we can crawl here. We cannot. I think I'm just going to shoot that guy with a handgun. Yeah, right, right here. Alright, that's way easier to deal with the rest of this space now. These three and the dog are not so much my concern over here at the moment. Eivold, are you full on bullets? You are, that's great. Right, we can regroup the whole team, get them over here. We can collect grenades and explosives for future work. Come to Papa! This good crowds didn't manage to withdraw with all their stuff. Anybody need handgun ammo? Yes. Right, we can cross over here, but I don't really feel any great need to if we can... Oh, we can't walk through the gap there. And then we can get in the building. Boost two of us up here again, I assume. So we have team up high. You don't see very much. You don't see a whole lot. I'm not exactly sure where we're going to try and get to from here. That guy's not paying attention. It's just this one. How we're going to cross this gap, I don't know. could just try and shoot him. That is a strategy that seems to work more and more of late in an active war zone. Stand right there. The guy kneeling down over there will hear us. But we don't have options for anything more silent right now. How far can we throw a rock, huh? Throw a rock there on my command. He did not hear it, did he? Alright, that's worked. If we stab you, that is not quite quiet enough, but we can do a stone throw again. See you in hell. Oh crap, he's gone off for support, I guess. Oh, we don't have an extra to boost with either. They are sounding the alarm. We're going to try and get on this roof. We have complete cover there. You two lay down on the roof. Oh god. He's gone off on his own. Here. 
Rubble is having a real bad time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's one more. We've got 11 bullets left. Eight bullets left. The alarm's still on, but these guys don't care about us. And we've just cleared out a whole lot of this position, it seems. Right, please give A-World way more bullets. He is too good at just murdering everything to not get more bullets. However, Rubble is like shot to hell and we do not have any med kits back here to utilize anymore which is possibly going to be a future problem but let's get everyone over here that looks relatively safe right now these two are on the mortars Somebody else can get some more sniper ammo. That's going to be a good time. And we've got more grenades. More TNT over there. Right, everybody down. Around here, it's just these three dudes left. So I think we'll be able to deal with that in relative ease. Smash that down, give us a route around. No one's going to hear. We are full on grenades, but we will take some more TNT. These guys... Oh, you do have line of sight over here. That is great to know. So, we are just going to crawl the long way round. Take out their commanding officer. And then take out the two of them with the mortar. That won't be a problem, I don't think. These two do manage to just about cover this guy, which is a small part of a problem. How are we going to deal with all three of these guys? I'll tell you what, I don't think any of them see up on this roof. As long as this guy doesn't see that far down, which they do not. There's the machine gun nest. We can deal with that fairly soon, I'm sure. But we're going to get on top of this rooftop. And then with our height advantage, I think we should be able to deal with these four dudes without too much issue. And of course, we do have more grenades. And there's even more over there. So... Why? There we go. Oh, give me just rubble, please. We can't... Throw, I mean, we can throw that there, but I think they'd have cover, right? But we can just do this. These guys don't seem to notice. They seem to be preoccupied, which is lovely. Can we make this shot, then? Um, we cannot. But with those guys all otherwise not being watched over, we should have a much easier time just taking them out. We come to here. Okay, gentlemen, let me use your water. Why aren't you going anywhere, sir? Evald, please come downstairs. Thank you. Yeah, they really don't care about our presence at all. Um, so, Led, if you would please shoot that guy and Lucas 
you don't have much ammo left, so we'll go that way. Yeah, they get... What are they doing? What on earth is this trying to achieve here? All right, well, that's done. Uh, are we using this mortar? Is that the intent? Destroy the machine gun nest. Well, nobody seems to want to be able to use the mortar. So that doesn't seem like it's making any sense, but we'll push on. So if we move these corpses out of the way, I don't suppose that's going to help. Yeah, move the corpse. But they really don't like what's happening in the geometry of this space, do they? I know you can lift up a corpse, dude. No, okay, if that is the objective, it is bugged, and we're going to have to do something else. Gonna need to get through here, which is gonna be a small nightmare, but hopefully we can just snipe our way up. My sniper rifle can handle it. Good. And if none of these guys are looking at us, I imagine. That will do. Why would you walk there when I told you to throw a grenade, right? I'm not mad. We've got our throwing knife back. Someone is low on handgun ammo, but I'm sure we'll deal with it. You are getting shot. Then we're getting up to here. And rubble. You are throwing a grenade. Appreciably, the range isn't the greatest, but... You are throwing a grenade. Apparently, we just can't throw it in there. Oh, there's something wrong with this level. Ready to rumble. Is this... ah! Give me that collectible. And then let me blow up the machine gun nest. going on all right oh we drew extra attention to ourselves we still need to blow up the bunker rubble you have the bomb fuck them up on it cat all right they're green now
blow the bunker. Okay, and we only have one way in. The front door, seems. Plant explosives near the bunker. This is going to be a hoot of a corner to turn around, isn't it? Could I throw a grenade just a little bit over oh god oh god oh god I biffed it big biff that helps that helps Is that everyone? I think that's everyone. Right, come blow this bunker, please. Evolved. Grab some machine gun ammo. Last we're here. group behind the bunker. Is there more mission back here? All right, everyone in one piece. Seems like we are. The road leads straight to the Vistula River. We'll have to find a way to get through to it. Halt! Stat! Kurwa! Where the hell did they come from? Hey, you're Polish, not German. Hey, you're Polish, not Russian. What the hell are you doing in these uniforms, people? We're the first Polish army. Under General Burling's command. Polish army, my ass. You're fighting alongside Soviet scum. Oh, fuck off. Our options were to come back to our homeland and fight Germans or to die in Siberia. So, are we gonna shoot each other now or what? Well, that got awkward fast, didn't it? So, that is the end of the chapter. Next will be chapter 11, Sorrow. Join me next time. We'll see how this stalemate seems to conclude. Hopefully we get some kind of good res resolution immediately. But for now, thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series, please do consider subscribing or hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.